Um, my name is Adam Poole. I'm the lead combat designer on God of War 3. There's a lot of differences. Um, probably the one that you will notice um, is how weapons and items, you can easily switch between them at any point in time. Um, and they're all accessible. Comboing between, between them is really fluid and fun and I, th I think it's something a lot of people are going to pick up. Towards the end, we're just throwing random groups of enemies that work really well together and you're having to switch your weapons constantly. Uh, at one moment, you're going to be comboing a guy in the air, and the next you got to switch to the Cestus and shatter a guy's shield. The next you got to you know, switch to the Helios head and reveal an enemy that um, you couldn't see before, constantly keeping the player on their toes. You know, we've been doing them for for multiple games now as well. So it's 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 something we want to keep fresh in our minds. Um, and anything that we do, we we're constantly questioning ourselves. That, like, is this something we really we really like, and is this entertaining? Obvious one that we put into the game is just that first person sequence where you play through and you get to up to Poseidon and you go to grab him, and the view changes to this first person's perspective. But what we did is, as you're putting those, uh, as you're doing those inputs, it's more of a third person, and then the reaction to those when you're seeing him get the shit beat out of him is from Poseidon's perspective. So you get to really see what it's like to be killed by Kratos. Um, that was really risky earlier on. You know, we we were talking about that, and people were unsure. And once we put it in game, everybody's like, okay, this is awesome. We have to we have to keep this in. You know, we've upped the gore on a lot of the kills as well. So. Um, getting the blood to splatter on Kratos' body and seeing the tendons on things that you're ripping out and all that um, really helps sell that visceral combat and you know, that's our, always our ultimate goal is like how can we make things feel more impactful, more visceral. We took our initial steps to getting Titans in and they were just these generic characters, you know, maybe they looked about as good as a PS2 model and you're like, oh, that looks bad, it looks all right. And then when the artist took over and started really getting that stuff in, you know, just completing it off, just like, wow, this is fantastic. But the frame rate's really bad. And then the programmers take over and they um, do this, these insane optimizations. And then the whole scene is beautiful looking and it's running fluidly. And the combination of all that stuff, when everything starts to come together, um, and then the, like the music gets implemented, then it becomes like, wow. Like, I, I know I did part of this, I know I did implementation on this, but it's a, it's a whole nother world. Like, it's so much bigger than, than the, the singular parts. It's just the sum of all those um, extremely talented people coming together and building something out of it. I'm really proud of the, the opening of the game, just uh, the level of technical difficulty, um, you know, from the get-go. We just designed like crazy. We just came up with whatever ideas we wanted to and said, we're going to go for it. Um, in every department was a little scared, um, not sure if we're going to be able to pull this off, but, you know, that's what we like, we, you know, if we have a little bit of that fear that's going to push us to making something um, nobody's seen before, or we're not trying to um, recreate what was done before, we're trying to evolve it, um, and, uh, and we got to always be careful, we don't want to alienate the fans, you know, the games have a certain feel to them. Um, so Kratos isn't going to put on a jetpack or you know anything crazy like that because um, while it might feel really good, it might be a really cool idea, it's just not, it just doesn't make sense in the franchise.